Right, the Manchester United beat Brentford 2-1. Great performance. I think it was particularly in that second half. Some very, very good goals, some good players. And what could have been Ten Hag's last game? I think he has got a few games now under his belt. Brentford didn't really offer much in that second half. But in the first half, they were a big threat. And I caught, thought it would be a poor game for Manchester United. But we scored two great goals, which has been an issue at Manchester United. We get three points. Not a clean sheet, but... There was a whole debacle over that. I think ultimately we did a very, very good job at keeping Brentford to the limited chances that they created. I think we played well in ourselves. The, mid the midfield, the attack, the fluidity was there. Rasmus Holland getting the goal. Um, I think we did do a very, very good job. So very, very happy with the three points. It's great to see us win the game after the international break. Um, and it's great seeing us playing football. We've got some big games coming up. But again, it's another big result for Ten Hag. And listen, we got a lot right. You look at the goals, a great bit of play by Rashford to switch over to Garnacho, And what a finish that was. The second goal, I mean, wow, what an assist by Bruno Fernandes. It was absolutely fantastic. But let's not shy away. That first half wasn't good enough for Manchester United. Ten Hag did not get a lot right in that half. Brentford were finding the passing lanes. And when United did do the high press, Brentford just exploited it instantly. And that was a huge concern. I was very, very disappointed by that. But I think after that, we grew into the game. We were first to win balls. Obviously, the goal that Brentford scored was from the runner play. I think Delo doesn't mark his man. Obviously, the whole delit sog with him being off the pitch, I think, was a disgrace. I think it was on Man United in that. And the doctors, they should have cleared it up. He got taken off, what was it, two or three times. So, that should have got cleared up. So, I don't think that's really on um, delit there. Um, I think that's on the medical team. Yes, he wants to, con to continue to play, but you've got to make it right. Um for that um what else um i think as well defensively as i said brentford didn't really offer much i think we dominated large parts of possession we are very very sound on the ball and we did really look to offer a constant threat throughout the game which united haven't really seemed to do i think in the first half we did have quite a few chances where we could have scored brentford are a team where we pressed really really well and i think the use of rasmus hoyland in this game was absolutely fantastic it was a big game for Ten Hag. There was a lot of pressure going on to the game. The team selection, putting Martin as our left back. I think we did look very, very comfortable with the left footed player at left back. Um, and I think that was a, a big thing in that. I think the way that we played, we, we did great chances. We just didn't score enough. Rashford had a few. Garnacho had a few. Bruno had a few. Hoyland had a few. Like We could have scored a lot of goals today. Um, and that is a positive. I think it was a progress, progressive performance. But I think we really have to use the next three games to really monitor it i think as i said the front four were fantastic um yeah um it was overall fantastic delay i think was very very good interception i think the rashford cross to garnacho goal was brilliant and i think rashford did look very very sharp um in that game especially on that right hand side um he was very very good on the ball and Offered a lot. I think he, he covered. He looked actually like he, he gave a crap today and put in 100% effort. Casemiro in midfield. I think a game where probably wasn't people saying, why is Casemiro starting? He did a fantastic job in that midfield, keeping out Damsgaard. Um, who else was it? Damsgaard, Norgaard. Keeping these players. I think Abuemo. And Ben and Bremo was kept very very quiet as well, and that was a big positive because he was he has been a key player for them, um for for Brentford this season. Casemiro, as I said, but overall very positive display in possession for Manchester United. Um, but yeah, two one for Manchester United was very very good, and yeah, absolutely, just outstanding performance from Manchester United yeah a dominant display a confident display from United and he silenced the critics um, Garnacho was absolutely fantastic in this game um, and yeah listen finally a win at Old Trafford with Garnacho and holding on the score sheets can this finally give Ten Hag and Man United the kick they need I think it should give us because there was a lot of things that we got right. Brentford did really struggle to, to, to dominate us in the game. Um, and yeah, listen, Hoyland getting his first goal of the season. Garnacho getting another goal into his tally. I think it's five now this... Um, no, two now for this season for him, but he's had a constant impact. It was a second-half masterclass in which we finally win a game. 
for Manchester United. Um, yeah, we're really, really happy. Super Garnacho, big call and goal, and a very much needed win for Ten Hag. But yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. Positive display um, from us. We just have to kick on. We've got first half, I think, was awful. Second half was more United. Great goals, and the win was so needed. We have to build on it. We see this every game. We have to build on this. No one step forward, two steps back anymore. Game by game, build on it from now. Um, because we definitely can see the progression and we can see the way that we played. Rashford are tracking back. It was a great win. We went to the next one now. It's going to be a tough game against Fenerbahce on the weekend. But I think United can really get a big job done. Um, but yeah, Garnacho is fantastic. I think the, the, the Brentford goal was just shocking, I think, from the referee. But other than that, it was, yeah, it was outstanding for us to get the win, to bounce back. We get three points. Um, I think we are still on a negative goal difference, but we are aiming to work on that. The big issue was us scoring goals. We scored two today um, in the Premier League. So two very, very good goals, let's say that as well. And we could have had more. Look how we are on the table. It's probably still not great. Um, Tenth place, minus two goal difference, but... Look at the way that we responded from that first half. We went in the second half. Ten half probably gave him a grilling. We come out. We looked very, very sharp. So, listen, very, very happy with the display from Manchester United. I think it was a very, very solid performance. I think, yeah, Ten Hag, is just, we just got to build. We, we go, it's going to be an insane, insanely tough game next week against Fenerbahce. But this game was all right for the building blocks. And we continue to build momentum. As I said, a lot of positives to take. A few negatives as always. But the link-up play was there. The patterns were there in midfield. I think Casemiro and Eriksson were very, very good. And we'll see a bit without Manu now for the next few games. But yeah, I think a lot to build on. Confidence was there for some players. I think Rashford, Hoyland, Garnacho very, very sharp. Defensively, Johnny Evans, Martinez, Fort Tillow was fantastic. Onana as well. Yes, we did concede, but he was very, very sharp as well. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. This has been... The match reaction for Manchester United's 2-1 win over Brentford. Brentford are very, very tough. They're on form. They scored five goals in the last game. But the fact that United managed to win the game, keep their key players quiet, and didn't really concede that many chances was fantastic. We've been opening midfield. We've been making the mistakes. But as I said, it's all about consistency, and we have to build on this performance um, going forward. But yeah, let's see what happens. We'll give you up to date with the preview. Player ratings will obviously come out after this. Preview for the game against Fanabache. Five things we learned, and much, much more. But... Yeah, match reaction. So happy with the win. And it's all about building momentum from here on until we go and we keep going. But yeah, what are three points? It was match reaction. Peace.